Hey everyone, we're in 3.1 today of weather patterns. It is, what, Tuesday? March 25th. And this video is going to take you through the entire lesson. Um, so I'm going to just walk you step by step through everything. And every time that you see the word uh, pause show up down at the bottom of the screen, go ahead and pause the video. Um, because at those points, um, I will, will have asked you a question or there's something for you to respond to online and you will need some time to go ahead and answer the question or type out your response. Um, and then as soon as you finish, you can just click on pause and start the video right back up again. So let's go ahead and take a look at what would be the whiteboard today. Um, you can see we're in weather patterns, chapter three, 3.1. Our chapter three question is, why did the most recent storm in Galetown have the greatest amount of rain? We've been looking at storm data for some of these other storms. And we've seen that, you know, even though some of the storms that have the same starting temperature, they might have the same amount of surface water, there's still some differences in the amount of rainfall that they get. So we're gonna continue investigating that. Our investigation question today, how can wind affect the cooling of an air parcel? We haven't talked about wind at all yet and what that might have to do with uh, storms. Uh, wind is our vocabulary word today, which is the movement of air in a particular direction. We're gonna learn a little bit how pressure plays a role in the formation of wind. And our key concepts, air moving from areas of high pressure to areas of low pressure, well, that's wind. And air parcels can be pushed up into the troposphere by wind. So we're going to do some investigations. We're gonna do some work in the sim in order to find out more about this and look at a new claim. So let's go ahead and move to the warm-up. So as a quick reminder of where we're actually going in Amplify, we wanna scroll all the way down to weather patterns and we're gonna click on that. We are in, wait for it, chapter three, lesson one, investigating wind. I'm going to go ahead and read the uh, introduction for us like I normally do from our Amplify workbook. Chapter 3, Exploring Wind and Pressure. If you have the workbook with you still, we're on page 80. Now that you know more about what determines how much an air parcel will cool, it's time to investigate other factors that can make an air parcel move higher into the troposphere, where it will lose more energy and lead to more condensation, which will increase the amount of rain. So air parcels cooling, if you recall, we said that as they rise higher in the troposphere, that's when they cool because the higher you go in the troposphere, the colder it is. So that air parcel is uh, sharing its energy with the air around it that has less energy, um, trying to reach equilibrium. As it loses that energy, the temperature drops. It allows that water vapor to condense to form liquid water. That's where we get clouds. Um, so the next sentence, if you'll decide if wind played a role in the severity of the rainfall in Gale Town. So again, we're gonna be talking about wind here. Uh, lesson 3.1, Investigating Wind, I'm on page 81 if you wanna follow along. You know that Gale Town has experienced an increase in the amount of rain. In the last two chapters, you learned about how, to, how the lake and temperature affected the amount of rain. Today, you will begin to consider one claim we have not yet discussed, that wind affects amount of rain in this lesson. You will first complete activities to familiarize yourself with how wind behaves before using weather pattern simulation to investigate whether wind is connected to increased rainfall. Let's go ahead and jump to the warm up. On the next page, what do you know? We've got a letter from Dr. Kenji, and I'm going to go ahead and click on it down here so we can follow along. Wait for it. Uh, let's go there. Dr. Kenji says, remember the claims below are ideas we are considering about why rainfall in Gale Town has become severe. The first claim was the, uh, the lake that was built near Gale Town caused it to have more severe rainstorms. We said, yeah, the amount of surface water it looks like is going to increase the amount of water vapor uh, in the air. Number two, warmer weather caused Gale Town to have more severe rainstorms. And um, we said that the hotter an air parcel starts, the higher it will rise in the atmosphere. Also, there's going to be a lot more water evaporating on the surface, the warmer it is. But this last one here, stronger winds caused Gale Town to have more severe rainstorms. He says, recently you created models and wrote short arguments for the citizens of Gale Town explaining how the lake and the recent higher temperatures could be contributing to the town's severe storms. We've talked about the lake and the warmer weather, and now we will focus on this last claim. Let's start by thinking about wind. So here's our two questions that I want you to respond to. The first one, what is wind? And how do you think wind could be related to severe rainstorms? Go ahead and hit pause right now, answer those questions, and unpause when you're ready to move forward. 
The next thing that we're going to do is activity two, which is this hands-on activity that you can't really do because I don't have the materials for you. Um, but maybe, just maybe, you do have one of those plastic syringes at home that you can use. Uh, but what I want you to do for this is the first thing I want you to do is go back to the lesson on Google Classroom, lesson 3.1, and there is a video attached to it. It should be just about two minutes long. And uh, yeah, go watch that, and then we'll talk about these questions. So hit pause, go watch the video. So in the video, uh, this first question here says, when you blocked the tip with your finger, what did you feel? So what, uh, how we could answer that is when she put her finger over the tip of the plunger, what happened to the marshmallow inside? And why do you think that happened? The second question, what happened when you removed your finger? So we saw her, let's see, let's do this one. Um, when she was pulling out uh, the, the plunger and we saw the marshmallow expand, what happened when she removed her finger from the syringe? Go ahead and just answer in those ways. And for part two here, again, if you have one of those syringes, you can go ahead and kind of play around with it and see what happens when you uh, push and uh, pull the plunger back. Um, particularly paying attention to the air that's coming out of the tip or going in. But go ahead and hit pause right now to answer these questions for part two. Now for this next part, this doesn't even show up on yours, but uh, there's this video that you're supposed to watch, and I have also linked that into your uh, Google Classroom assignment. So go ahead and hit pause right now, go watch the video, and then come on back. Great, so we saw that horizontal wind will cause an air parcel to move right along with the direction of the wind, but when you have all of that wind coming together, uh, converging in the same place at the same time, then it'll cause that air parcel to rise up into the atmosphere. I wonder what kind of effects that will have on that air parcel. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna jump into the simulation. And we want to, let's see, be in, hang on there, regional weather two mode. We haven't used this one yet. So yes, we want to load that. And the first thing that they want you to do in the simulation is play around with it. So go ahead and do that. When you're done, come on back. Pause. So the next thing you're going to do, let's go ahead and click on number two in our assignment here. Uh, it says make two air parcels. So we are still in uh, regional weather two, uh, but now we need to do a couple things. It says set the sliders for sunlight to surface uh, and surface water to level three. They should already be there, uh, but if you've messed with them when you were playing around, go ahead and change those. So you can see, all right, sunlight to surface, surface water. I have those set to three. And what does it say next? Set pressure at parcel and pressure around parcel to create wind that blows towards the parcel. I'm not gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna let you figure that out. So you have to mess with this right here, pressure around parcel and mess with this pressure at parcel, try to make wind going at the parcel. And then of course, the next thing you're gonna do is hit run, watch what happens, make observations, and then you're gonna hit analyze, the analyze button. Um, on the table that you have to fill out, right down here, um, these, all of this information you'll find in the analyze tab um, uh, for parcel one. Now for parcel two, it says right here, repeat the process to create a parcel with no wind. So you're gonna change those air pressure uh, settings to try to create a parcel with no wind. Again, record the information from the analyze tab and then answer these questions down here. Uh, to use your data table to describe how wind can affect the cooling of an air parcel. How does wind affect the amount of rain? So go ahead, do those things, and come on back. Pause. So what we should have noticed in the simulation was our parcel that had the wind coming at it. It was going to rise higher up in the atmosphere. And since it's rising higher up in the atmosphere, it's going to lose more energy to the surrounding air, which is gonna cause the temperature to drop a lot more. So for the second question here, how does wind affect the amount of rain? Well, the more that that air parcel is cooling, if all other things are the same, the more rain we're gonna get. 
So we can assume that if we have wind converging onto a location, it's going to cause the air parcel to rise higher in the atmosphere. It's going to cause a lot more rain to fall because it's going to cool off so much more. So let's go ahead and move on to the homework. It's all homework, Mr. Regan. I know, I know. Um, and it's a reading. So we're going to read about different types of rain. And there are a couple questions for, whoa, where, where did they go? Ah, here they are. There's a couple questions for you to answer um, based on the readings. And then you're done. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.